So guys, um, today I'm going to talk about how you can actually uh, get rid of this error that says 000xc000 or another x00 if you have hap if you happen to have that error 7b. So this error is actually very annoying. Once you Google it, you'll see a lot of uh, results, different results that people are talking about it, how to solve this issue. There are a lot of different ways that you could be solving this issue. One of the things that can actually help um, you to fix this error, the first thing you need to do is just to reinstall the game or whatever you have. And I can understand it can be difficult. But something easier before reinstalling your game would be just to make sure that your computer has all those required softwares to run the game. So you can look for Microsoft uh, Redistributable Packages or whatever. So I'm going to leave a link for this in the description box. You can download um, all those that are actually available, but the latest one would just do fine. But other than that, to make sure if you have these softwares installed, the, uh, the Microsoft Visual C++, whatever, or those uh, redistributable packages. So you need to download those things. And download them and install them. I'll leave a link for it in the description box. If it didn't work out, you need to check uh, Microsoft Net Framework. So in order to be able to run any apps or a lot of apps on Windows, you need to download this too. You can download the latest, latest version in there. You can da go down here and then download other versions if you want to. If still didn't fix your issue, let's say for example, you would want to run this game, PUBG Lite right here or Payday 2. I actually had this problem with this game. So you can just right click on it, go to properties, and in here, go to um, this tab. And in here, you can run this program as Windows, uh, you can try Windows 7, you can try Windows XP, you can try all the options and press apply. And make sure to run it as administrator, so you can have administrator privileges. Press apply and click OK. If it didn't still work out, uh, you can also do check disk, but I do not recommend anyone doing that because it can take a hell of a long time. And you can also perhaps go to your control panel. In control panel, go to uninstall programs in programs. And come down here and try to look for all these Microsoft Visual packages. As you can see, I have from 2005, 2008, 2010 packages, 2012, 13, and 15, and until 2019. So I have all those packages installed on my computer. Make sure you have all these in this section in here. And if it still didn't work out, if you're using NVIDIA drivers, you can just go and download the NVIDIA drivers, the latest driver for your NVIDIA graphic card. You can just look for the type and then press search, or you can just directly Google it, or you can just go to AMD drivers. And in here, you can just look for your AMD graphics cards, drivers, or processors, or whatever. You just click the series that you're using, and whatever. And then the type, and all those things. If your issue is still not solved, try a restart. If it didn't still work out, if there's no hope at all, like that was the case with me. So what I did was I just completely I backed up my inform my important information and pictures into an external drive and I actually uh, formatted my hard drive and did a factory reset on my computer. 
So I did a factory reset to see if it's going to solve the problem. But hopefully one of those things should fix the problem. But if there was no hope at all, just factory reset your laptop or do a fresh reinstall uh, of Windows. So it can hopefully solve your problem. I did everything and it didn't work out for me on my other computer. I actually had to just install those Microsoft uh, visual packages and it worked out. But on the computer that I have currently now, I couldn't find any solutions for it. I even contacted the software developers that, dev uh, that have uh, made those games and they offered me a couple of solutions. It didn't still work out, so I just did a fresh and clean reinstall of Windows and my issue was like, boom, just like that, beautifully solved. So that is the last thing you're gonna be doing if none of those options worked out for you. I know this error can be very frustrating when you see it, you get really annoyed and you just wanna smash your computer screen. So anyways, if this video was helpful, you can smash that like button instead of smashing your computer screen and you can save a couple of bucks. See you guys next time.